I'm trying a new spot here. It was an old elementary school, now it's like a park. I think the elementary school was built in the early 1900s. But I'm just up by the street. And I'm, I mean, I've dug clad quarters like 1982, about four inches. And I'm getting a deeper, like, dime signal. It was dot, like solid dime, now it's jumping more to a penny, but it's like six or seven inches. But you can see it's not really dime anymore. But it's still chirping in the high tones. I think it's gonna be a weedy maybe. So let me dig it and then I'll turn the camera back on. My phone, my thing's almost dead. Uh, that last thing ended up being a uh, 1981 zinc or a uh, copper penny. So, but now I got a. Oh shoot, that's a barber or barber quarter. Holy sh! Nikes. I didn't even do the signal on this because it was like a 1043. I thought for sure it was gonna be junk, and it was not deep at all. <laughs> 1908 Barber Quarter. Unbelievable. I mean, you can see that's maybe five inches. And it's in there. It was in there with rust because it was gnawing out in the one direction. You can see the rust right on there. Man, I wish I had did that signal. 1908. Looks like it's got an O mint mark. Awesome. Alright, well, this isn't the best part of town, so I'm going to try to keep the live digs time to a minimum if I even stay here too much longer. This might be an area I hit early in the morning because it's 10.15 right now and the trouble's probably starting to wake up finally. So, I'll get back to you if I get anything else. It's been probably about an hour almost, <clears throat> and I've dug 66 quarter and two, or no, another 65 quarter, and then I think the 65 dime and a 66 dime, and I haven't got any more silver. I just got a three weedy spill though, down pretty deep, about seven inches. But the uh, a good section of this park is fill dirt, and there's just like terrible stones and stuff. I, I mean, the only part that's not really filled or is along the edge, like along here. So I'm just kind of sticking to the edge now. I broke my shovel right there on the uh, seat, or right there where it bends. This ground is hard as a rock. So I'll clean those weedies up and see what dates they are. I'll get back to you. Here's a wrap up from today <clears throat> down at the old school um, that was it was torn down it was built in the early 1900s and now it's like a dog park and uh, when I looked at some aerial images the uh, one section I was in was original ground but then there was parking lot when I got in the middle that's why it seemed like it was all fill dirt so I got a better idea as to where I got a hit next time um, so hopefully I'll have a little better luck but I did uh, I did do pretty well today got a buckle I don't think that's old but Got a compact. I don't know if that's it must only be part of it, but I see the hinge thing on the back there and the mirror on the front. That was pretty deep. And then I got this thing. I don't really know what that is. It's it says uh it's like a stopwatch. It says stopwatch right there above my finger and then double or all the zeros and then down here it says dial split. I don't know if it's part of like a field day or something, like for the kids. But it must have been a it looks like it was a pendant at some point. But I cleaned it up the best I could. It's not really cleaned up that great. But if anybody has any idea what that might be, give me a comment. And I got that was the three wheat spill. The oldest blade was a 45, and then there was a 54D in there. And the one on the right, I can't tell what that is. Best find today was this 1908 Barber Quarter. It's actually a D mint mark. I thought it was an O. We can see that down there, and that. That's where the rust was, and it was still gnawing once I got that out of the hole. So, just goes to show you that each rack will find them. You got this giant bolt. This thing must weigh two pounds. I think it's copper too. 
because I was marking it up with a shovel trying to get it out. Uh, got some clad. And this is the stuff that frustrates me. There's a, that dime is a 66, two quarters are 65s, and that dime is a 65. <laughs> so, could have had five silver day, but I still take the one barber quarter. That was awesome. I was not expecting that, so. I'm gonna go back there. I'll hit it one day early in the morning before anybody really gets out moving. So, happy hunting.